This time we are going to add logging and see how important it is when we build our own MCPE solutions. A quick recap on the setup we are addressing. Normal LLM based query goes directly to the large language model and, and the large language model replies back. Okay, that is how ChatGPT started. Then agentic system started appearing. Now what agentic uh, mechanism offers is, it offers additional tools needed to empower the interaction. Because large language model is a language model, so it's, it doesn't know precise calculations or fetching information from database or web, web search, etc. So for such operations, we needed an agent and we could attach different tools to offer those solutions. And it is the LLM that decides when to use those tools. So when we prompt the LLM, we also mentioned that we have these tools available. So then came Anthropic's MCP protocol, which standardizes the way we can attach tools to our agent. So before MCP, we could simply attach tools to our agent. But with MCP, there are two ways we can attach tools to our MCP. One is uh, the MCP client sitting on the same machine, but MCP server also sits on the same machine. It is a client that invokes the MCP server directly and acts as a tool. But the problem with such a solution is our intellectual property also stays with our clients. If you don't want that, if you, want, if you don't want to reveal your solution and only offer your solution as a service, then you need to offer a remote MCP solution. And for that, we need to use an SSE transport. Instead of HTD IO transport, we will use SSE transport, that is server sense events, which is a streaming connection. We saw the uh, interaction of the SSE uh, client and the server in our previous videos. Please remember to watch them. They are very unique. So when we have SSE server, this part we can host on our machine and the our intellectual property stays with us. Only we expose the SSE or the MCP server endpoints. Okay, so what are we going to do in this video is we're going to add a cloud-based logging from Pyrandic AI itself that is called Logfire. Import Logfire module from Pyrandic AI and I have already saved the API key in the en .env file. The entire code is available for you to download and we are configuring log file with the API key. I am SSE based MCP server. Okay, so we are just adding a manually created log line. Okay, so now what we will do is we will restart the server. Okay, see, I am SSE based MCP server. So from our applications, we can stream log lines to Pyrandix Logfire dashboard. This makes it very easy because